So, hi, Sammy Smith. Nice to meet you. I teach seventh and eighth grade science at CICS West Belden. This is a PLP that my students use. So we gave them the PLP template and everything that you see that's a table, we actually gave to the students. But all of the text that you see inside of it, the students filled out on their own. I teach seventh and eighth grade science and this student's name is Raphael and this is his science uh, PLP. It's specifically about thermal energy. And so the essential question we're working with here is in what ways do does thermal energy impact the world around us? I have two standards and as a class we unpacked those two standards and we decided what they meant and what we needed to research. And so his goals for this unit are to understand and comprehend these concepts. These I took from the NWEA learning continuum and all I did was copy and paste the standards that fit my students' writ ranges into a separate document. When we scroll down, we're looking at his goals, and then we're looking at how he chooses to access, engage, and express information. So he prefers to have discussions about it at the front, and I noticed that, and I replied with a comment, and I said, if you'd love to have conversations, I would love to too. Please let me know, I don't have them planned, but you'll let me know and we can make a link scheduled. For engagement, he's going to stay motivated by having independent and partner time, interview with the teacher, and then to express, he defines and solves real life examples. And so he actually took initiative and did a couple of labs that he designed on his own and did a few um, activities that demonstrated his learning. So further down, these are his daily goals. And so this was his first goal, this was way back in March, his first goal was to format the first entry in his science notes. And then as we go down, he's copying and pasting standards and skills up here from these goals for this unit. So within his specific NWEA writ range, he knows that he has to be able to, for example, apply force equals mass times acceleration to calculate the magnitude of a change in motion. And so what he's meant to do and what he has done is found resources from outside sources up at the top. I was um, kind of scrolled fast through it, but way back up at the top here, I gave them, I gave the students a few sources that I knew were really, really good. And then he actually found this site on his own. I did not have that note in there, but apparently it's trusted. So this is the one that he's choosing to use for a lot of his work. They... Um, linked in their learning from another Google Doc. And so I taught them how to make a bookmark into another Google Doc. And when I open it up, I'm opening up his physical science notes document. Every student in my class has a science notes document. They all have a table of contents. But what the bookmark does and should do as soon as it loads up is it will take us right down to the section where he took notes on this specific topic. And you'll notice that I don't have teacher comments for every single topic. I uh, save it up. These all happen in the span of a week or so. And so I saved it up to the weekend and I sat down and I looked at his notes and then I left a couple of comments. So the first couple that he did are just the resources and his uh, learning that he got from it. So he took like a sentence note or two. But later in it, he actually included some pictures and some animated images to help him better remember all of the topics that he was learning and covering. And so all I gave the students in the PLP were the skills that they needed to master. What he chose were the ones that he didn't quite know or he wasn't so sure of or ones that interested him even. And he chose to work on those and he chose to um, make those the majority of his learning. We haven't quite gotten to reflecting on our learning yet. We did have a conversation about it verbally. We didn't enter any of the text into the PLP, but I think that's the beauty of the PLP is that it is this working document and next year he's going to have access to this when he's an eighth grader in my science class and he's going to be able to go back and say, oh, I remember I analyzed the effect of gravity on tides and he included some pictures and some images. He has Newton's three laws. He has different labs that we've done in here. He's got free body diagrams and so the notes are kind of a catch-all for all of the resources and materials that we use and all the topics that we cover. And the PLP, the Personalized Learning Plan, is actually the plan for what he is going to be mastering and what he is going to be learning on his own time. And that is a 7th grade science, really great example of a 7th grade science PLP. Thanks. Have a good day.